Welcome to Florida. We're Chris and Tabitha Blue taking on a home renovation with our four kids. From the front door through the backyard, no space in this home will be left untouched. We've always wanted a place to settle into, a place that we can call home. Now's our chance to make this house our, our home. home. <laughs> you won't believe all the little things in just one home reno, so come join us. Welcome to our backyard oasis. Ooh, wait for me. Ah! <laughs> all right, I'm trying to remember what I was gonna say. I don't know, but we're here in our space and it looks awesome. And even though we fought the rain, it's only been actually about eight, 10 hours of work. It's like and it's really rainy hot. Rainy and hot. I think summer, it went from winter to summer, but that's Florida, so <laughs> it kind of happens. So my hair's all frizzy, my beard's starting to curl up. So. Your hair's frizzy? Yeah. <laughs> Um, yes, it is. It's just one of those weird, like, humid, stormy weekends here. Um, but we got it done anyway. Like you said, we kind of fit in little parts of this project in between the rain. But overall, I mean, this happened in about eight hours. Yeah. So, I mean, it could be a one day project, it could be your weekend warrior project. But I love how it's transformed our space. Yeah, I think it really does. It changes the, the whole idea of what the space is for. Mm -hmm. um, instead of just being a backyard patio, now it's actually a secluded. Well, we wanted <laughs> to kind of extend our living space into the outdoors, mm -hmm. have a place where, just like you said, it's kind of our oasis, um, but it just is an extension of our living space. So originally when we got it out here felt quite small. So our first project, and we actually, <laughs> so our first project was doing the brick pavers um, on the patio and just making a larger area. We actually um, we doubled our footprint for yeah. just patio space. Just mm -hmm. immediately we figured that was a good thing to do. That was great. We also obviously we don't have to mow it. It's not right. grass. Like it's just a good <laughs> living space. We can set up all our stuff. And so it's kind of like a big deck or a big patio. Yeah. Um, and that was something that we hired out. We didn't do that one ourselves. But that was the first step to our makeover project. So I'm here at Lowe's today in the garden section, getting some flowers for our new wall. I'm so excited. The juxtaposition of the bright green to the purple. And I just think these are really pretty. They're pretty hanging over a basket. Put one in my cart. So you can see right there how it just hangs over. Pretty. Gardening done. Oh. Oh, shut. <laughs> we got all of our wood lined up, ready to go in the backyard, and um, we are just basically gonna start our project. It shouldn't take long. Look at that. I'm gonna leave it all up to you. Thank you very much. I'll just stand right here behind the camera and watch ya. <laughs> we are getting everyone involved with helping us finish the last couple sections of our new horizontal fence. Um, we are kind of rushing to beat the rain. There's a storm rolling in. So all hands on deck today. Get it all done because we're warriors. Weekend warriors. Outside, kids are playing. I'm working like usual. Uh, getting ready to set this post down. We actually utilized the existing post inside um, of our fence already. So we just, I'm gonna attach it with some lag bolts. Dig down just a little bit of the post hole, but if you don't have existing posts, you can just dig it down, set it with some concrete. There's tutorials on that as well, but um, I'm gonna utilize what's already here. Makes it a little bit quicker, an easier DIY weekend. So what we're gonna do is pre, you wanna pre-drill a hole, otherwise it's gonna take a beast of a <laughs> drill to make that go through. So we pile it a hole, then I'm gonna use an impact drill to go ahead and just carry it all the way through and lag it right into the post. Good. Let's put it in. I don't know, I think you took a lot of dirt out on that one. I think it's perfect. You trust me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I hope so. We'll see. 
50-50 chance that I'm right. Like a glove? Perfect. But I get to use the bow. Okay, come back up. Let's see. Is that good at that level now? We have to hold it for a while. So what we're gonna do is to make these flush. Actually, just a real quick fix. I got some of these straight brackets. Uh, we'll line it up, put them on top. You won't ever see them on the cap. Uh, if you do it a little differently, you can always pull them forward using a bolt. This was a lot quicker fix and a little easier, less time. Do you love me? Now that I can build a fence, it's watch me now, say, oh, work it out, baby. This one has what, quarter of an inch? So we ordered an entire patio set from Lowe's. It is like a love seat, two chairs, and a table. And this one box arrived, and I was like, no way. It's not all in there. And but it is! It is all in there. Like some minor assembly. Yep, doesn't look like it'll be too difficult. How's it going, little man? I'm in my painting wardrobe now because, well, I'm not actually painting, but it's staining day. We now have the horizontal set fence up and ready to go. We're gonna throw a little color on this bad boy. We are ready. Last screw in the front. We're getting ready to hang the lights and hang the planter boxes and this wall will be well on its way. Hmm. Okay. Well, the wall is up. I'm just trying to figure out where to put these. So we're gonna do some flower baskets and these, it was like easy because they're already made, already done. These we picked up at Lowe's. Um, but I just wanna attach them here and plant some Nice plants and flowers, but I'm thinking one on each wall, but just stacked so that it's uh, in different locations. So. I also think, does the, the black iron kind of bring in the black of the patio furniture? Yep. And then I have lights to hang that have the black um, cord, so I think it'll just kind of tie in. But I'm thinking the first one will be, should I go in more or out? I think in. Let's start here. All right, so I am just marking here for you, babe. <laughs> I'm gonna put some screws here. Whoops. Mark these holes. There you go. The thing is, it's good is we're not married to where they're at necessarily, exactly. so we can always move them. Once you get everything in place. Far out to go, but I'll probably bring it in here, I think. Keeping it a little, sort of a grouping, but I'm not centering it. Um. I like the, I guess what, asymmetrical or whatever. 
Oh, I know after we um, started this with the brad nailer, you attached them, I know you went back with the screws and put in the screws. Just make this a little more solid on all of them, but especially since we're gonna be hanging stuff on it, it'll just make sure it stays in place. Cool, let's get hanging. Let's do it. Uh, hmm. You getting ready to plant the flowers? You gonna, yeah, you're gonna help me with flowers. Oh, where's all those little fingers at? There's a finger. <laughs> You're gonna get help me get in the dirt and plant the flowers? Mm. Yeah. So we kind of divided them how I see them going in each basket. I laid them out. So like this whole arrangement will be in that one. Oh my goodness, where are all these little fingers? This arrangement, well, Aria moved some of them around. Yeah. Oh wow, thank you. <laughs> Come on. So I liked this. We actually saw this in the Lowe's garden area and I just it liked it. Right? It, it was already, already put together really and I job. liked the whole thing. They did a great job. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna take this and replant it into our basket. And then I added a couple other pieces with it and basically I stayed with a similar color theme. I like these lighter, brighter greens, and then a lot of purples are going into it um, to just bring that deep coloring. Okay. Yeah. Let's get some more dirt in here. You hold it. You're gonna hold it. <laughs> okay, you hold it. Okay. Oh, we're gonna go way over here. All right. All right. Go grab some graham crackers and marshmallows and we have Percy's chocolate. <laughs> ready. You ready? Ready for some s'mores? Is that what you're saying? I'm loving this space. Oh, cool. Already. We did a good job, babe. Worked up. Yeah. Weekend done. Let's enjoy it. Yes. Now we can chill a little bit. We got about two hours before she starts writing invites to have everybody over for a party. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So we're just glad that you joined us along on this project. Um, it was a lot of fun. Our kids love it. They're actually really enthralled with all of it. Um, and we're super helpful with doing yeah. it. So there's a lot of ways they can get your kids involved in helping. They didn't necessarily love like the um, sweeping part. You mean the work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they wanted to do the fun work, like use the drill yeah. and um, the paintbrush. But it's also a great way to educate your kids. We have four, so um, continual education of, of how daddy works, how mommy works, how tools work, how things are built. Right. And the whole process is really educational. How if you can take the time to works. do it. They were really interested in yes. that. <laughs> and everybody likes fire. Right, so we were so grateful. Um, especially working with Lowe's on this project. So all the stuff you see here is from Lowe's, yep. like the side table, this furniture. So it was a really cool project to work on with them. And, um, and one of my favorite things about working with Lowe's was that you could order it online and go walk up and it was all ready to go. I didn't have to shop. Yes, that's <laughs> shop true. Online. Yep. So if you got any comments, you got any questions, uh, there's way, all sorts of ways to adapt this project to your home and your space. We'd love to hear your comments and love to hear from you. And uh, let us know what you think some of the ways you've done some similar things in your backyard. Yes, and if you take any photos, like if you do projects like this, kind of a wall or a horizontal flat fence, I think is what we're calling it, privacy fence. I don't know, we're just kind of throwing names together. <laughs> but if you do something like that on your own, we would love it. You can snap a photo, tag us on social media, tap the blue, comment here. And yeah, you guys, we'll see you next time. See you next project. All right, let's go get the hot dogs. Yeah, and some like iced tea. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to like. And subscribe. We'll see you next time. Gotta go.